Good morning Year 7, I hope you've had a lovely weekend. Um, I'd just like to start off by saying that this week, had you been in school, you would have noticed the buzz around school with the Year 11s, because um, they would have now finished the majority of their exams, if not all of them, and would have been saying their farewells to their teachers and their friends. So I would like you guys to join me in saying goodbye to the Year 11s and wishing them all the happiness and all the success they can for their future endeavours beyond school and their new adventures. Um, what I'd like to speak to you guys about then is the fact that now, that means that when you come back to school, you will now be year eight. Technically, unofficially, you kind of are already. But when we come back, you will definitely be year eight. So I need you to really think about what that means for you when you come back to school. Now, I know your transitions have been cut short, but to be honest, you actually had one of the best transitions that I've ever seen while working at Charlton High School. The confidence and, and abilities that you came into school with at the start of year seven has really amazed me. So even though you are still year seven, I already feel like you have been a part of the school for a long time. And I think that you'll have got amazing things to, got, to still come from you. So. What I would like you to think of, though, is when you come back in year eight, is you will now be the role models. You will be the ones that the year sevens will be looking to, to see how it's done. So I want you to make sure that you are set, uh, being the, your best selves. And uh, no matter what you're doing, you're really applying yourself. You're really trying your best to do the best you can, that that will be the best role model you could possibly be for the year sevens coming in next year. Um, and I have the most confidence in you guys. You have got to be um, the best year group, I think, that we have in school. I know I might be seen biased because I'm your head of year, but I really do feel that the, the way you have come in, the way you have taken to the last few months in your first year of school, and you've just took it all in your stride with the same confidence, the same the same sassiness that you did at the start of the school, I think is absolutely astounding. And you have done gone more than better than we could have expected from you guys in such in your first year. So I know there's more and more for you to come. So I want you to really think about what you think you could do better in the coming weeks, in the build up to coming into year eight. So even while working at home, I don't want you to get slacking off thinking, oh yeah, we'll be using this holiday soon. I want you to really take it day by day, thinking, what can I do today that I did better than yesterday? And take it one day at a time and really strive to be your best selves. I think that would be the best thing you could do for yourselves and the best things you can do for when you're coming back in year eight. I'm really missing you. I can't wait to see you all. I bet you've all probably grown several inches. Your, your maturity is probably going to be totally different. Um, but I can't wait to see it all. So um, keep striving, guys. Keep doing it day by day. And I will see you all soon. Bye. Hi Year 8, Ozzy here, hope you're all okay, missing you loads and loads. Um, I've had some lovely phone calls this week that have really given me a boost. This week would be the week where Year 11 would be officially leaving Chilton High School. They'd be having their special leavers assembly, they'd be getting their shirts signed and they'd be saying goodbye to staff and friends. So I'd like to say a big farewell to Year, year 11. Um, I hope that the future is everything that you want it to be and I'm sure you'll all be super happy and successful in whatever you choose to do. Year 8, what does that mean for you? That means that you're moving up. Okay, you're in your last five weeks as a year eight student. You'll be thinking about preparing to get back to school as a year nine student. So think about that, year nine. This is when you really need to dig deep. This is when your GCSE journey starts. This is when we need to get a little bit serious. Now, the last 12 weeks have been some of the most challenging weeks we've ever had. Okay, I know that I've struggled. I know that some of you have struggled and that's completely normal. However, you've coped amazingly well with a new way of learning. The challenges that have come along with this distant le distance learning, you've, you've coped with, you've done it. If you can do that, 
then you absolutely can apply those same skills to your year nine GCSE journey. The skills of motivation, resiliency, creativity, optimism, practice, all those qualities of success, you've smashed it, you've already done it. So that proves to me that when you come back in year nine, you can be the best that you absolutely can be. I'd like you to think about setting yourself some targets, just some small targets. You don't need to share them with anybody. They're just personal goals for you. Um, they could be things as simple as making sure that you commit to completing every task in lesson plus the extension work. It could be, right, I'm going to join an after school club. I'm going to meet some new people and I'm going to commit to it and stick to it. It could be no behaviour points, no behaviour points. It could be not getting involved in any negative, um, any, any kind of negativity at all. I'm thinking about arguments with friends or arguments that you've got no um, business with at all, getting involved in things that don't concern you. And that's on social media, sort of nasty negative comments or in your um, group chats, things like that. So you could set a little goal of, I'm not gonna do that, okay? I'm gonna be a positive person. But above all year eight, I want you to really, really, really think about being kind. If this, this situation that we're in at the moment has taught me anything, it's to be kind to myself, but it's absolutely to be kind to other people. Um, people will always remember how you make them feel. Um, so I want you to think about that and I want you to come back in year nine, being kind, being positive, being focused and really getting ready to give your GCSE journey a, a really good go. I'm always there year, year eight if you need me. You know where my office is. If there's anything at all that I can do to help, pop along and see me when we're back in school. Okay, keep being fabulous, my lovelies, and I will see you very, very soon. Take care. Hello, year nine. Lovely to be back with you again. As we say goodbye to year 11, it's been a time for me to reflect. Miss Wickstead and I were the first people that worked with them in year seven. I was their mentor and Miss Wickstead was their head of year. We had the ones who settled into transition very well, the ones who were a bit weepy, some weren't in the right class, some decided they couldn't do the work and they couldn't manage it. And you know, watch them evolve through the school and their time here that's getting them to year 11. It has been an eye opener and really humbling. Now, the experience I've taken from them is, is what I'll bring to you. You came to the school, high achievers expecting to do well. It is your destiny to do well and be successful. The reason why I know this is because you were strong individuals. You had a plan and your plan was to work hard, play harder, take on board the life at Chorlton High School and make it your own. And you know what? You've been successful. There have been some struggles on the way, but none far greater than the one you faced now. From phone calls, I can see that you've taken to it very well. Some of you it's really hard, it's unusual circumstances, but you will get through it. And you will get through it with hard work and perseverance because that's the stuff that you are made of. We are lucky to go back into school after the six weeks holiday at some point. We're just not sure when, but when we go back, you are going to be ready. Don't worry about the gaps in your learning because the majority of you have taken this distance learning so well that you're so proud of yourselves. We'll be working. High school has to offer whether it's in the school or at home distancing i wish you all well take care hi year 10 hope you're good now this week in school is officially the last week for year 11 students and as a year group we would like to wish each and every one of them the very best for their future so now year 10 where does that leave you 
Well, that means in five weeks, you are officially the new year 11 students. Now, I remember becoming your head of year in year eight, and I remember my first assembly. And back then, and still now, my goal was, as well as your academic success, was to ensure that you were the best person that you could be. I want you to stand up against violence, to stand against racism, to stand up to homophobia, to be kind, to be caring, to be sensitive, to be thoughtful, to be all those things that you've all turned out to be. And you've blown my goal out the water. So I guess my goal is done. But what's your goal? How are you going to be successful? What does success mean to you? I'm asking you all to have a really hard think about this because this next year for you is the most important year in your academic life so far. I really want you to come back motivated. I want you to come back eager. I want you to come back and smash your predicted grades. I want you to be the best person that you can be. I'm looking forward so much to seeing you next week. Um, I'm thrilled, I'm delighted. I hope I see you all and I will see you very, very soon. Take care, bye. Hi guys, hope you're all all right and managing to actually make the most of some of the sunshine we've had this week. I'm trying to do my best doing that, but it's supposed to rain again this week, which is really, really annoying. You might have noticed the thunderstorms the other day. Um, anyway, this week is all about thinking to the future and thinking about what year you'll be in next year. So obviously year nine and 10, year 10, you'll be moving on to year 11, big year for you. And also a really big year for our current year nines moving into year 10 as well. So we need to start thinking about what do we need to do over the next few weeks um, to make sure that we're ready for whenever we return to school, whenever we return to normality around September time or, or, or whatever the government says. So have a think. What do you need to do? Are you up to date with your work? Have you missed anything that you know you might need to go back on a little bit? Um, is there any even passion projects you can start? Anything you're really passionate in uh, and about at the moment? that you could maybe look at to um, sort of explore extracurricular things like that as well. So really just have a think about what you're going to do to improve yourself um, starting from now and into next year. Cheers, guys. Have a good week. Hi, guys. It's just a very quick message from me. So first off, I just wanted to say a big congratulations. Well done. And um, I can't believe your time at Chorlton High School has come to the end year 11. Um, but you should be super proud of how you've handled absolutely everything over the past five years, um, in particular the last couple of months, because it's been a real surreal experience and from what i hear you've absolutely made the most of it and you are just going to be going on and doing brilliant things at college i am positive of um next message is to all of us Chorlton high schoolers that are left um again well done it's been a really successful distance learning i think um from the sounds of it you've been really happy you've been creative um, and it's time to now think about moving forwards with it. Um, so give yourself the summer um, to relax a little bit, but also to start thinking about what you really want to achieve next year. Um, and let's come back in September and let's really focus. Let's really get it. Let's work together and let's be as successful as we can be. Take care. Hi guys. This time last year, we were about to celebrate the great get together and we were about to celebrate CHS's first ever pride. This year, the world looks a little bit different, but that doesn't mean we're not going to celebrate the fantastic things that we've got within our community. And it doesn't mean we're not gonna celebrate being there for each other, even though we're apart. The Belong Festival begins this Thursday, where the first 30 people to like our Instagram post get a free afternoon bee which is our Cholton High School version of an afternoon tea, which is a fusion of flavors that we hope you'll really enjoy. On Friday, we've got the great get together. And then next week, we've got events running every single day for you to get involved in from your very own living room. So have a look at our website, keep your eyes peeled on Teams, and I really, really hope that we'll see you next week. Our ambition is that every single one of you does at least one thing with us. So we can't wait to see you. 